Hello everybody and welcome back to these short computer trainings. Today we'll continue the scripting um, channel and we'll mess around with Active Directory a little bit. Uh, we're going to use Visual Basic to VB script actually to uh, modify an object in Active Directory, uh, specifically a user. Uh, let's say you have a lot of servers like we do like, I don't know, like 34 servers, 34 domains and you have a service account that you need to change the password to every two or three months, right? Well, of course, you can set it to uh, never expire, but that's not really security smart. So what we do, we set it to expire every two months, and then just two days before, we run this script that uh, I built, and uh, I changed the password for the service account on all the servers. So let's get to it. Uh, first thing you need, uh, you need two variables uh, that we're going to define right now. It's going to be dim old password and dim new password. Okay, so we're going to use these variables to insert the values in AD. Right, we're going to define them. So old password equals whatever value. Let's say I don't know password one. Right, let's say this is my old password and new password would be new password one. Of course, our passwords are not that intuitive, but uh, just for the sake of the testing, we're going to put this through. Now, we're going to use these variables to insert, to actually change the values of the user attribute in, ID, in AD, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to use a set command, we're going to define a object user, right, and we will set the value for this object to using the um, get object uh, command. Get object. And we're, gonna, we're gonna use uh, LDAP to, to get that specific object, right? So it's gonna be LDAP um, number slash. And we're gonna use the complete name of the user, which will be, let's say, um, I don't know, uh, service user, right? Well, my username is different, but we're going to use this as a, as a variable, right? Uh, define the organizational unit. It's, I don't know, uh, support users. Yeah. Uh, domain, let's say test domain. If you have a parent domain, you can use that as well. For example, let's say you have your test domain dot parent domain dot com, right? So it's going to be DC test domain, then another DC definition, which is going to be parent domain, parent domain, and then it's going to be the dot com equal com, all right? So we're going to change the password for the service user account in the support users organization unit in the test domain that parent domain dot com domain controller right so this is to set the object and now we're going to use that object that we defined object user we're going to apply a change password attribute to it actually this is change change right change password and we're gonna use the variables we just defined it's gonna be old password comma new password why do we do it this way we don't we don't put the actual values and we use um, we use variables because my script, for example, contains 35 lines like this with different servers in it, right? So I have like 35 lines, 35 commands over here to change the password. And the only thing that changes in that command is the old password and the new password, right? So what I do, I define these variables. Then the only thing, every two months when I run the script, the only thing I change is this. Old password and new password. I change them with the values that, you know, are present at that time and then I just run the script and everything happens right 
So let's say you have this script for one domain, and then or this command, I'm sorry, and then um, let's copy it and paste it over here, and you can set up a second server. Let's say so service uh, the user will be the same, the support organization unit will be the same, but the domain will be different as the main one, right? So let's say you have a server in London and a server in New York. Most likely will be let's say London London dot parent domain dot com and it's gonna be New York let's say dot parent domain dot com, right? So this script will take the old password from here you already defined and it's gonna change it with it's gonna replace it with the value from the new password variable, right? And it's gonna do that one by one for every single server you define here. So that's why I define these variables right here. So that's that's it basically. You can add a line for every single server you have. Remember, you need to have permissions to the AD3 to actually execute these commands, otherwise the server will reject the commands, evidently. And put all these lines in a, into a text file, like I did, and change the um, uh, extension to VBS, Visual Basic Script, save it, and then just double-click it, run it, and it's going to do everything for you. Okay? Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like the videos, and don't forget to check out our blog as well, watermarked at the bottom of the video. Thank you.